Hey guys, Sonic Top here. Welcome back to Apex Legends. Um, I was playing a game by myself, it, just with randoms, and we won the game. In this one, um, one of our players left, and it made me so mad. You won't hear me talk at all in this one, so I'm just gonna developer talk, developer mode talk, developer talk over this, and and I'll see you guys when the match starts. So Dern here, um, I chose Wraith for one reason because I like um, her powers, especially the um, her ultimate where she can place two wrists, and also her um, active ability where you can disappear and get away from the fight. So that's why I chose her, and you'll see and, um, you'll see me into action in just a bit. So, before when we went to jump, we landed Skull Town. One reason is because um, it's a good place to go, and not a lot of people like to show up there. So, we just decided to drop there. I was confused on why the um, why um, Pat, the Pathfinder wanted to go to the uh, Thunderdome, but anyway, we went to Skull Town real quick to see what's going on there. And it, I might as well say it was a pretty good drop for us. Good thing to do right as you um, land is to um, grab a weapon as soon as possible because you don't know who you might run into or what you might run into. I grabbed the um, R301 because it's my favorite assault rifle and it's really accurate especially if you have the right attachments on it. But anyway I ran this. I didn't like the P20. It sucked. Uh, I'm going to switch it out for a shotgun later in the game. But right now I'm going to run the R301. My um, usual setup is the R301 and the Peacekeeper, and that'll pre pretty much get you far in the game if I do say so myself. Here. Level two. What I'm doing here is trying to be, stay as close as possible to my teammates, making sure I'm not straying too far away from them, and um, I'm pretty sure trying to make sure um, I'm, that I can get everything as possible, everything, every attachment. And I got into battle here. It's pretty, pretty psyched out real quick because it's like, what's going on here? Luckily, she, luckily I went to loot. See. You want to loot faster than what I'm doing right now because if you don't, you might get caught up in a fight or sniped out of the or sniped out of the area. So you always want to um, you always want to loot fast. And also, this is when the um, freaking Pathfinder left. It made me so mad. Taken out. I knew you were an asset to this team. Need to recharge my shields. Care package. Check it out. Care package coming in. So 
pretty much we looted the rest of Skull Town real quick and we went on to explore other places. Um, I think we got into a huge battle. I don't think we're about to get into a huge battle very soon. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but we'll see. Heavy ammo here. How about this way? I'm gonna skip us going into this place. Pretty much nothing happened here. It was just us running around seeing if we can find any extra loot. So I'll see you guys when we get into a fight. So we stood up here so we could scout out. As you saw, I was scouting a few enemies and then my teammate shot at this person. So I'm about to rush in into the door. Which was a very bad idea on my part, cause she, um, you'll notice that she'll pull a shotgun out on us. Pulled out my shotgun real quick, I peeked the corner, she was right there. I gave one shot, and I saw how low my health was, so I backed out, and then went back in with a faster shooting weapon, so. And we got the kill. We would have died there if, we would have died there if I didn't decide to go back out and come back in with a faster shooting weapon. I sat there, this is a lot faster pace of looting, which I should have done earlier. As you can see, actually I'm slowing down now. But as you can see, I was looting a bit faster because um, I know what's at stake. Because I, what's going through my mindset is that I know that someone's probably nearby. And because you saw the team earlier over there, um, chilling at that respawn station. So in my head, I know that there's going to be more people coming for us. So I decided, I decided to heal up with my, um, with my teammate. Like I said, I knew more people were coming, as you saw. A Bangalore shot her um, smoke canister. You saw us staring through the door. I was trying to make, trying to make sure um, she wasn't there. And that was a battle on the Bangalore for throwing her ultimate when we were inside a building. As you might notice, I'm closing the doors because I'm trying to make sure that I don't get jumped on. As you see again, I made the option to um, stay back. That was a bad part on them. I don't know what they're doing. And that's also bad on me because I tried to heal my fr my um, teammate even though I knew everyone was still around. Now I don't know how I did this. I honestly don't. All I know is that I was trying to keep steady. Sadly my teammate goes down here. Because um, the Bloodhound decided to throw two grenades. I had to get out of there quickly. So I decided to check in, grab all the stuff. I grabbed my teammate's banner and I was heading out to put it at the respawn that was nearest. And then I saw more teams over there. They're going to pop up in any second now. They, I see one running sideways. I went to go heal up real quick just, just in case I might get into a fight. But luckily I decided to um, go to a different one because I knew I was outmatched. Need to recharge my shields. As you can see here, um, I'm placing a rift tunnel, so I'm um, back to where my teammate died, 
so we can quickly get in and out of that area without um, getting caught up in the storm. So, as you see, I'm running back. But um, what you will notice is that um, I ran into somebody. Yeah, I went to the wrong house there, but I ran into somebody yeah, over there. I was like, I need to retreat and get my teammate. As you can see, me using my phasing ability so I can't get shot. I went back to um, get my teammate real quick. Then um, I jumped over this wall and marked inside the um, I marked inside the uh, house. So I was telling my teammate, I was like, "There's someone in there. Be careful." Anyway, um, let the show begin. Body shield here, level three. Contact. Reloading. One minute. Ring's pretty close. Enemy down. As you saw there, the person I was shooting at went down. Um, and I noticed that um, that there was no 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 one else around. So I went to go check out the back to see where he was, and for sure he was self healing himself, as you can see in the corner. Yeah, and I got him. Um, if I didn't check back there, I'm pretty sure we would have died. Only two enemy squads remain. I love it. Lucky us. We're with the new kill leader. Thirty seconds. Rings close. Catching myself up. Ten seconds. I'm gonna skip this here. Pretty much is just us healing and trying to get in back inside the circle. We'll end up back in um school town real quick. So um I'll see you guys in the in the next fight. As you can see in here, um we turn left when we see a lifeline. I decided to give up on the lifeline because I saw the bloodhound and um. As you see, I'm switching between weapons randomly because I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. Luckily, my teammate was there to um, back me up. As you can see, I got all those shotgun shots. And you see, I was panning back and forth between that barrier and the um, and the bloodhound. I was trying to make sure he got he didn't get much of shots on me, less shots on me. So, anyway, let's continue on. Recharging my shield. One sec, healing up. We're close to the ring. Thirty seconds left. As you can see, um, I'm being very cautious. I'm like looking outdoors, making sure there's no one around us. Um, as you can see, we're back to where we started. I'm being very cautious. I'm trying to not go outside without at least backup. As Ten you can seconds. see, Rings I'm being really, I'm forward. being as close as possible with my teammate, trying to make sure I don't lose track of him. You can see um, I'm scanning in and out of windows, using my zooms, and making sure no one gets to us. And as I said again, I'm closing doors behind me to make sure um, no one gets to jump on us. But as you can, as you can see, we're rushing back towards circle. I'm staying with my teammate, making sure he doesn't get sniped or shot out of nowhere. So, yeah, as you see, closing more doors so I can have an advantage on the enemy to hear if they open them or not. As you can see, I was trying to climb the fossil bones. Um, usually, I, I was trying to get high ground so I can have a better advantage against the other team. They popped up over here. Um, I shot at the lifeline a few times. See how um, I'm shooting like two or three bullets every time the guy just get a shot on her and now uh, I'm gonna go into my phase walk so I can get a better advantage on the lifeline so I run over here then I notice my teammates in trouble too so I see there's your balter I aim at him I help out my teammate real quick then I run back towards the lifeline because um, he was hammering my teammate at the point As you can see I pulled out my shotgun to make quick quick um shots on her and then I noticed I wasn't getting enough um, range in her so I switched to my R301 and shot her to end the game and there you go that's how I won my Apex Championship I was so nervous as you can see I'm just shooting around the air because I'm so excited that I won 
I, after I got off the game, um, I was I felt like the entire I felt like the weight of the pressure on me was just laying on me. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.